Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my to be read and my to be watched for the funnest readathon of the year, old school April, celebrating all things nostalgic and old school April was created by Kelsey from Slime and Slashers and it's a readathon, watchathon, and there's activity prompts as well. So, uh, lots of nostalgic snacks, crafts, outfits, uh, and there is Six Sad April going on on Instagram, which is a bunch of photo challenges, one for every day. And that is hosted by April, who is Apple and Alchemy on Instagram. So, so many fun things are going to be happening in April, including a bunch of watch parties for movies. I don't know what those movies are yet, but I know I'll be joining in for a bunch and lots of sprints and hangouts. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. But now into the to be read for the readathon. There are a bunch of prompts and each book can count for as many prompts as we want and you can use the prompts more than once so picking a TBR doesn't have to be as structured. Pretty much any book you want to read is going to fit in with something and it's mostly about reading things that are nostalgic to you. Things maybe written more than 20 years ago or kind of have a old school vibe to them. And here are the books that I picked. The first is Ball by Robert McCammon. And I chose this book because it was a host pick from one of the co-hosts, Elizabeth Sagewood. So looking forward to reading Ball by Robert McCammon, my favorite author. This is one of his first books, I think. Another host pick was Dead Eleven by Jimmy Giuliano, which is a new book, but it is set in the 90s I believe and there's uh, like a video cassette on the cover so it's very old school vibes in this one and this was Katrina Brown's pick and it, it also a book club pick for whose book club was it death by TBR book club hosted by Kelly hooked on books and Crystal from Farbeat fiber artsy. And the last host pick that I chose is A Child Alone with Strangers by Philip Fricassi, another author that I really have enjoyed their books. And this one must take place in the 80s or 90s. And this was Christine's pick. Now I have a few books that I am adding on on my own and <clears throat> first there's a few arcs that I'm going to be reading for the month and those are Kosa by John Durgin which is releasing May 17th. Not really old school as far as I know but I'm sure it'll fit some prompts. <laughs> The Fireborn Blade, a fantasy novel by Charlotte Bond. That comes out May 28th. And then The Dark Spot. I'm excited for this one. By Angela Sylvain. And her last book was very nostalgic 90s. And this one I'm not sure. Black Spot is a collection of short stories about women, women's struggles, and it is being released May 21st. 
So I'll be reading those during the month and I am super excited to read them. There's also a buddy read or a group read for The Blood Mirror by Brent Weeks, which is the fourth book in the Lightbringer series on the Bookish Tremors Discord. So I'm continuing on with that series. I believe there's a prompt that's read a fantasy series. So with the Fireborn Blade and the Blood Mirror, I've got that covered. And I have another one as well, which I'll tell you about in a second. <laughs> okay, just a few more physical books that I'm adding in here. First is Master of Murder by Christopher Pike. There's a prompt to read Christopher Pike book and neon on the cover, lots of neon green here. Awesome. And this is YA 90s. And I received this as like a mystery book and I'm excited to check it out. Old School April is perfect opportunity to read that one. And these two are my picks for the Buzzword Reading Challenge hosted by Books and Lala. The month theme is to read books with nature words. So the first one is The Summer Tree by Guy Gavriel K. This is a fantasy book as well from 1984. The summer tree. Tree is my nature word. And this is also going to fit for my Read What You Own challenge for a book that I have had the longest. So I'll be good for that as well. I believe it might fit a prompt for the Bookish Drummer reading challenge as well. I can't remember at this particular moment. I'm going to have to look that up. And the last one is Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. Flowers is my nature word and this one is from 1966 originally. Just a real classic, one that everybody talks about all the time for generations or decades and I need to read it. This is also for my Read What You Own challenge for to finish the books from my 40 books to read before I'm 40. And I believe it might be on the Bookish Drummers reading challenge as well. I'm having trouble keeping track of all these goals and challenges, but I tried to pick everything, things that would fit a lot of purposes. So hopefully I picked right. <laughs> And there's one more book that I'd love to get to. It's an ebook for um, on my Kindle for Reader Beware Anthology. And this is a nostalgic anthology um, that pays homage to R.L. Stein, I believe. And it should be a lot of fun and definitely fits the nostalgic theme. That's the books that I'm hoping to read in April. And now I'm going to share what movies I'm going to watch. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I'm going to start with the host picks that I've picked out to read. First is An American Werewolf in London from 1981. And this was um, Kat's pick. I also want to watch The Mummy from 1999, which was April's pick. And that's one that I watched a lot growing up. When I was in 
high school. I also want to watch Saltburn, which is a new movie, 2023, but it must have be set in a nostalgic time. Oh. Uh, and that is Katrina's pick. Another one that I have never watched that I want to watch is Slumber Party Massacre 2 from 1987. And that is Alex's pick. Um, I love to rewatch The Burbs from 1989, which is Venus's pick. And Ferris Bueller's Day Off classic 1986 which is Christine's pick oh I love that movie it's a good one but I have a bunch that I picked out myself as well the first one uh, I want to stream weekend at Bernie's from 1989 and the rest of them that I picked out are ones that I own, or my husband owns. These first two were my husband's. Uh, the first one is Resident Evil from 2003. Was it 2003 or 2002? 2002! Whoa! So yes, that's like the year after I graduated from high school. <laughs> But Resident Evil is awesome. I really love this movie. As well as this one, The Campiest of Good Times. Hackers from 1995. This is... I'm sure I can get my husband to watch those two with me. And the last bunch of movies are horror movies. I recently, I think this year, picked up this collection, Best of Horror, and there's a few good nostalgic ones on there. So I'd love to watch The Shining from 1980, Poltergeist from 1982, A Nightmare on Elm Street from 1984, The Lost Boys from 1987, the Exorcist from 1973. Yeah, those are the nostalgic ones I want to watch on here. Um, and those are like some of my favorite movies ever. So it should be a good time. Those are all the books and movies I'm hoping to get to in this very nostalgic month <laughs> and yeah I'm just really looking forward to the sprints and the hangouts and the watch parties. I might not get to all these movies if I'm replacing them with watch parties but that's okay because watch parties are super fun. I am a silver snake <laughs> and we are going to kick some butt this year. <laughs> if this event sounds fun to you, I encourage you to sign up. It is the best of times. And I will have a Kelsey's announcements video down below with all of the information. And let me know if you are planning on participating in old school April and hmm, how about the book or movie that you're most looking forward to reading or watching in April and I'll be back very soon with another book related video thanks bye